Okay. Uh, let's move on uh, science and technology policy. Okay. Uh, there are many problems and limitations and also challenges for science and technology policy. Uh, I cited uh, some uh, comments from uh, documents. Okay. Uh, Indicators for R&D investment. Uh, K. Goizumi uh, mentioned that there are uh, some uh, different positions in science and technology policy compared to other policies. Uh, for example, for construction, there are uh, many factors uh, measured, for example, such as uh, Hold uh, asphalt and job creation and uh, local economies and so on. And uh, those factors uh, could be uh, easily measured and calculated. But is there any indicator for uh, science and technology policy, especially for basic research? We don't have relevant uh, indicators for the impact and the result and outcomes uh, before uh, uh, investing. So uh, he uh, focused on the R&D investment and also uh, Julia Lee, uh, former director of NSF, she uh, wrote an article in Science and she argued that quantifying the outcomes of the investment in science is not easy task. Yes, it is true. And also, Daniel Sharovitz uh, uh, comparing the science funding and the research. For example, as you know, the United States is a uh, heavy investor for its health uh, policies uh, through NIH. But uh, the outcomes, the uh, living standard in terms of uh, health care system uh, in the United States is just somewhat questionable because uh, uh, less invested uh, countries can also uh, manage uh, its own uh, healthcare system uh, better than the United States. It's true. So uh, he said that one may at least say that there is no very obvious connection between marginal increases in funding for science and the achievement of improved health outcomes. Okay, there are many. Uh, problems and challenges for science and technology policy-making. So, uh, from those questions, uh, recently, the science of science policy, so called SOSP, uh, has emerged as an uh, important uh, uh, philosophy for policy-making. Okay, so the definition of science of science policy uh, I quote it from the U.S. Federal Roadmap. Uh, the SSP is an emerging field of interdisciplinary uh, study, and the goal is to uh, make rigorous and conductive analysis for uh, first makers, researchers can assess the impact of uh, scientific enterprise and also improve understanding of its dynamics and also assess the likely outcomes. And the history of uh, science, and, uh, science policy, uh, Dr. Marburger, uh, for the first time, used the term 2005, and also uh, 2006, in the OECD Sky, Blue Sky Forum, uh, he uh, argued that uh, the importance of science of science policy. Uh, okay. The uh, OECD Blue Sky Forum uh, 
is hosted uh, by OSD uh, by, uh, for ten years. So uh, this year, uh, next uh, next month, uh, another uh, Blue Sky Forum will be held in uh, Belgium, Hand. And also, uh, the concept of uh, science of science policy was spread globally, including Korea, Japan, and so on. Yeah. And also, KISTEP launched uh, the program, uh, uh, so-called k 2 base uh, in terms of science, and, uh, science of science policy. And also, uh, this uh, federal report was established at the same time. Okay, uh, there are some questions in uh, science of science policy. Uh, okay, I put in uh, 10 questions from the US Federal Report. There are uh, uh, many questions about innovation, technology, adoption and diffusion, and uh, public investment, and the possibility of credit discovery, and investment effectiveness, and competitiveness, and so on. Uh, as uh, Robert Atkinson uh, mentioned in the morning, uh, each nation uh, has focused on its competitiveness, uh, its uh, innovation. Yeah. So uh, those questions are uh, from uh, those uh, basic uh, needs of uh, country. So, uh, the science of science of policy uh, is very uh, keenly related to the national uh, innovation and national competitiveness. Okay. Then, for Korea, uh, as you uh, may know, for uh, gross uh, domestic uh, expenditure for R&D uh, has increased like this graph and the percentage of GDP is over 4% uh, it has been ranked number one in the world okay, very good yes, I'm proud of you but there are many comments of that reflect in documents, in public documents uh, made by the government. But the productivity of scientific outcomes was an investment is still insufficient. And actual economic performance through commercialization is unsatisfactory. And there is a lack of strategy and priority of R&D investment. Okay, the third one is somewhat just a way comment, but uh, I think it is a kind of peeping comment for John Paul. Okay, then what evidence is needed for science and technology policy making? Uh, it's a form of key. <laughs> okay. uh, there are uh, many cures such as uh, before policy making, uh, step by step, we, uh, we need uh, some uh, evidence, for example, uh, technological status in terms of technological gap, technological evaluation, uh, evaluation results, and the expected uh, market size and the expected outcomes, results, and also opinions of stakeholders and competing nations' investment amount and uh, formal uh, similar programs results in terms of uh, its outcomes such as papers, patents, and so on. There are so many uh, evidence uh, are needed. And uh, for uh, this is a uh, 
science and technology policy making cycle, uh, we call it uh, PIE, planning, investment, uh, evaluation is a cycle. Uh, this cycle is somewhat similar to other nations. And uh, we, before we uh, make science and technology policies, uh, uh, as uh, uh, nice steps to uh, brilliant uh, presentation, uh, we are also uh, acting uh, foresight activities like this, and also uh, uh, preliminary uh, research uh, for before investment, such as uh, feasibility study uh, and evaluation and so on. And also, uh, we uh, are in the budget uh, allocation uh, uh, based on uh, such uh, documents and uh, such uh, evidence and also uh, evaluate the outcomes and performance. Okay. Such uh, cycle uh, has a uh, uh, important uh, access for policy making and also uh, those uh, evidences are needed for uh, make policy making, uh, make policies in this cycle. So, uh, key step, uh, we have constructed Knowledge based uh, measurement system since 2008 uh, in terms of science of science policy. Uh, we call it a uh, KSTEP knowledge base, uh, KT base. Uh, it is a kind of repository of data, information, knowledge, and so on in the whole cycle of PIE procedure. So uh, we have uh, accumulated and collected. Uh, those the budget proposals, the program evaluation research, and uh, project outcomes, such uh, data has uh, accumulated in this system. Okay, then uh, uh, I'd like to uh, visualize the evidence from case space, such as, okay, uh, these are the whole process from uh, planning, uh, budget allocation, and evaluation, so-called PIE. And in each step, uh, we, uh, we su support uh, some information as evidence uh, for policy making. Uh, first, uh, this is a uh, planning level. Uh, if Okay, uh, this example of from uh, a program from Ministry of Rural Development uh, titled by Next Generation's BioGrid uh, 21 uh, Technology Program. Uh, uh, this this uh, policy map showed the relation uh, between the high level plan and uh, Mr. Mr. Very real uh, plan, and also uh, this step, uh, the research of preliminary te technological assessment and also feasibility study, and uh, this step, uh, each uh, uh, we call it each table, uh, each uh, mm, is the information of the program and uh, the. Budget uh, and also opinions of uh, policymakers and and uh, stakeholders' opinion, including national assembly or office of inspection and audit and or other uh, public opinions, and also there are statistics uh, from the history of investment and also uh, outcomes, uh, SCI papers, patterns, and so on. And uh, it is a visualized picture for uh, concentration of uh, 
this field. Uh, there are plural ministries uh, for similar uh, biotechnology programs. So uh, we can learn about the concentration and similarities in the whole picture. Okay. Uh, there are some poses from evidence. Uh, I focused on evidence based policy making. But those poses from evidence, if technology level is evaluated as 80% uh, most advanced country, then how to invest the area? Well, coming nations increase the investment to an area, then invest more or decrease. And QSA methods in research proposals are similar to current conducting project, then fund or not. The less if A is, A's impact factor is uh, higher than B, then A is more important than B and evaluated higher than B. So, this question is uh, from evidence, but uh, evidence is not all. Judgment is more important from uh, Evidence. So uh, those questions, those poses, depends uh, depend on uh, our strategy and our philosophy or, and our stance uh, for the future. And okay, uh, for uh, less possibly, uh, I show uh, interesting evidence. Uh, recently, uh, uh, Nature uh, showed uh, this uh, interesting. Mm, article. Uh, there are long tail. Uh, uh, so many uh, papers are uh, under the impact factor. So uh, to decide uh, uh, from the impact factor is uh, very, very, very uh, difficult. Okay. Okay. This is my epilogue. Evidence is not a panacea for policy making, as I showed. And paradigm shifting from to uh, intelligence based policy making, not just data. And exporting vaccine is more important, and uh, quantitative evidence uh, can be utilized with, uh, with qualitative judgment. And also, policymakers should detect, interpret, evaluate, translate, and predict, not just uh, collect data. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Singh.